new way air bearings. And we have a new way air bearing spindle here. And we're, we're going to measure its precision using axis of rotation metrology techniques. We have a capacitance probe here that has got nanometer resolution and a very accurate ball that's around to two millionths of an inch. It's attached to this test artifact, which is centered to the axis of rotation, not perfectly. So there's some eccentricity that'll get taken out by the software. But what we find when we measure an air bearing spindle is that there's very low synchronous error motion and also very low asynchronous error motion. Now that is contrasted to a spindle that might be on rolling element bearings because this a spindle like that is going to have a lot of asynchronous error motion because you've got a outside race that is going to get pressed into a bore that's probably not perfect. You've got balls that are not all exactly the same size. You've got an inner race that's not going to be perfect. And so the inner race is going to precess at a different speed than the balls. And because of this, all the little errors uh, look like they're random. They're actually deterministic, but they result in what looks like a cloud around the rotation because of the what appears to be random errors. An air bearing spindle has only one rotating element, so it has virtually no asynchronous error, and the synchronous error is very low. So a rolling element spindle may have error motions on the order of 20 millionths of an inch, but an air bearing spindle like this would have error motions on the order of uh, two millionths of an inch or even less than that. Uh, air bearing spindles are known to have error motions less than a millionth of an inch. So uh, the only way you can divine something like that out is with a very high resolution, uh, non-contact probe and a very accurate ball. And uh, the air motions of this new way air bearing spindle are on the order of two millionths of an inch. <laughs>